Hi everyone, it's Mr Silver here. Hope you and your families are all well and are keeping safe. Hope you also had a lovely Easter. Um, it's just been Easter weekend. I imagine you've been eating lots of chocolate. Um, and that is the topic of my video clip today. So, chocolate. Did you get lots of Easter eggs? Well, I'm going to show you something to do with some of those Easter eggs that are left over. But don't worry if you've already eaten them all because you can use other chocolate as well. So, today I'm going to show you how to make chocolate crispy cakes. Now, to all of you Year 7s that are watching this, we would have made this if we were in school. So, hopefully, you'll get a chance to make this following the video clip. And to those of you that are older than Year 7, you would have made this in school, so you should be experts and should be able to do this without the video clip. Anyhow, right, let's get on with it. So, we've got a few ingredients, not many ingredients you need for this. Now, you can use Rice Krispies, although they're called Rice Krispie Cakes, you can really use any kind of cereal. So if you don't have Rice Krispies, you can use Corn Flakes as well instead, and they're a good alternative. Chocolate. Now, I've mentioned to you about using Easter egg chocolate. That's also fine to do. Um, ideally, though, cooking chocolate is quite good. So when you go out to look for chocolate, if it says it's suitable for baking with or for melting, that is perfect. However, as I said, you can use your leftover Easter egg chocolate. Right, um, let's start. So I am, first thing you need to do is you need to get your water on to boil. Now, I have already got some of my chocolate melting already. So I'm just gonna show you this, um, but I'm not actually gonna make the chocolate in this one. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So in a large pan, I know I've got a small pan here, but this is just for showing you. You half fill your pan with water and then you place your bowl on top. Now, when you place your bowl on top, just make sure that the bowl is not touching the water, okay? This is really important and actually can stop the chocolate from melting properly. So just make sure that you half fill and your bowl sits nicely on top of the saucepan without touching the water, okay? Then you need to break your chocolate up into small pieces and we're using 100 grams of chocolate, okay? Now, as I said to you, I've done this already, so I'm not gonna break the chocolate up for you now. You would then place your saucepan onto the hob and you would need to turn it on to a medium heat. If you need an adult to help you to turn that on, just ask an adult to help you. You don't want a high heat, you want a medium heat, okay? And then with a wooden spoon, you are gonna slowly stir the chocolate until it has all melted. And if you have a look here, this is one that I've had going and it is almost ready. Okay, I'll just tip that forward for you. Now, a few safety things to consider when melting chocolate. Firstly, just make sure that your saucepan handle is tucked away to the side. And if you're using the front hob, it's not hanging over the edge. Otherwise, somebody could walk into it and knock it over. Secondly, make sure you're using a wooden spoon to stir your chocolate because wood is a insulator of heat so it won't get hot and it won't burn your hands. The other thing just to make sure is that sometimes you can get some steam as you can see here coming out from the sides. Again just be very careful and if need to turn your heat down. Right, my chocolate has all melted now so I'm going to turn that heat off. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there for a moment while I set up the rest of my ingredients. Right, so I mentioned to you that you needed 100 grams of chocolate you are going to need 12 paper cases. Now I am putting my paper cases in, this is called a bun tray. Don't worry if you don't have one at home, just sit it on a normal baking tray or even in a container, that would be absolutely fine. Right, so for 100 grams of chocolate, you need 75 grams of Rice Krispies or Corn Flakes. Now I'm gonna show you here, how to measure it out. We want 75 grams. Now I know all of you might not have a scale at home, so I'm gonna, when I pour it into my, let's have a check and see if that's enough. We are almost there. Just a few more. It's important that you have accurate measurements so that you have good consistency of your chocolate and to the Rice Krispies. Right. Okay, so I'm going to just show you what you can do. If you don't have, oh, this is not going to work very well, is it? If you don't have a weighing scale, I'm just going to show you perhaps how many mugs you can use, all right? Because that might be easier for some of you. 
Right, so my chocolate has melted. 75 grams, and I'm just showing you this in case you don't have weighing scales. So I have one. I'm going to add that in. With my wooden spoon, I'm stirring. Try not to smash the Rice Krispies. You can see I'm just adding the Rice Krispies a, bit of, a little bit at a time. Make sure you use that wooden spoon to coat all of the Krispies. Right, let's add my next lot in. Let's do it a little bit quicker here. Oops, we'll just take that off. There's only a few that's going from the side. So that's a second mug and a bit. Okay, and again, just make sure you coat all of those Rice Krispies. If you don't co coat all of the Rice Krispies with the chocolate, they won't all stick together. And then when they're set in the fridge, they'll just fall apart, okay? Okay, last little bit now. So, no weighing scales. You want about two and a bit cups of Rice Krispies, all right, roughly. Right, last bit. Okay, it's now time to get them into our cases. Now I'm only gonna do a few, you don't need to see me do all 12 of them. Okay, everything all coated. Right, for this bit, best if you have a tablespoon and a teaspoon, all right? Take a big tablespoon of your chocolate Rice Krispie mixture and just pop it into your case carefully, okay? Now let's go again. You can always go back and add a little bit more to each case once you've done all 12, okay? So if you're not sure, you can always go and add some more afterwards, okay? I'll put a few more just in that one. Right, as I said, I'm not going to do all 12. You can continue in this way. The last thing I'm going to do is decoration, and I know that's the best bit about it all, okay? I have just got some simple mini eggs here. So all I'm going to do at the centre of each one I'm just placing a mini egg here. However, you can decorate it with anything you like. You can grate a little bit of chocolate on there. You can um, crumble some chocolate. You can put a sweet or a smarty at the top of it. It doesn't have to be mini eggs. Pop the tray into your fridge, probably for about an hour or so. And then you will have some lovely Rice Krispies to share with your family. I hope you've enjoyed this. Take care. Stay safe and I really hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.